Hey guys, it's going to right again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you could subscribe to the channel by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to show you some of the new equipment that I got to improve the videos in YouTube. I decided to improve the introduction of my videos because the audio that I'm using is from the iPhone and the iPhone does a really good job but it gets to a point where you know, if you want better quality, you need to get better equipment. And that's why I decided to go with Rode equipment. So I also didn't want it to use a system that wasn't wireless. I didn't want to run cables around my office. So I decided to go with the wireless go to do that. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you some of the different accessories that I got in addition to the wireless go to get going with the iPhone X, which is what I'm using to do the video recordings. A lot of people ask me, Dilmer, the introduction is not that good, but then when you jump into the computer, the quality gets better, and that's because I'm using the Snowball Ice on my computer when I, when I do the screen recording, but when I'm doing the introduction, I'm basically using my iPhone. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and get going. I'm gonna show you some of these stuff that I have here. So I, I told you that I got the wireless go, and the reason why I got the wireless go is because I didn't want any cables to go with it. So I'll be showing you what's in it, and we'll be looking at the quality. I'm also going to be recording a video before and after. I want to compare a video that I did without this and then a video that I did with this to see how the quality improved. And then I also want to do this just for those creators and anybody in my niche that wants to do videos, I think I, I really recommend that you go with this option because based on my research and based on the quality that I saw in some test equipment, the quality is a lot better. So. I'll be able to show you that. So let's go ahead and get going. The Some of the things that I have that, you know, in addition to the wireless go that you can see right here. So I wanna show you the box so you can see what's, you know, how the box looks like. And so you have your transmitter and your receiver. And that's what you're seeing. That's what you're seeing two different devices right here. This one is the one that you're gonna be basically wearing. That's the one that we're gonna clip into our shirt. Or you can actually wear it on your pants and basically run what a lavalier might to go with it. So that's what I'm basically gonna be doing. And then, so that's the wireless go, we'll be opening that. I also needed to get a lavalier mic because based on what I've been, you know, hearing about it in the research that I did, a lot of people say that it's better if you go with a lavalier solution and not use the built-in mic that comes with it, even though it's they say that it's good. So we'll be looking at how, you know, the theory about it, and you'll be looking at that and hearing about it when it goes to the videos. So here's the lavalier mic, we'll be looking at that as well, and this is basically what we'll be connecting to the one of these devices right here, which is going to be that transmitter. So the lavalier mic is here. I also had, had to get an adapter, because if we need to connect this to my phone, I can't really go directly from the cable that comes with the wireless go, I need to convert that from TRS to TRS adapter and then from that connector we're going to go to this connector to connect to my iPhone. Right, so let's get this going. I'm going to go ahead and open the, the wireless go and honestly I don't do a lot of open box videos so I'm not the best person to do open box videos but I really want you to understand and, and see how we can get you know better equipment to improve the videos and hopefully my recommendations can help you as well. All right, so let's get this going. I don't know if I need this cutter here, but I'll try to get it open. I saw that a lot of people were having issues opening the box, so hopefully I don't have as many issues. Let's just get this open here from the very right top, and yep, it is really hard to open it. And we'll just, I'm just gonna go, go ahead and cut it up on the top. Just make sure that I'm careful. There we go. So I have the box, the box open. It is really hard to open from the from the very top, I'm, I'm not going to lie. And let me just go ahead and tilt it and maybe push it. There we go. Alright, so that's basically the box that I was going to display to you, but it's now dis destroyed. So in fact, I can probably, probably just put it right there so that you can see what I'm doing. And then, so we have, you know, a little box here, basically. Close on the bottom, looks like I can I can basically tear it from the top. So this is great, this looks really good. Let me just get this organized so that it's not in the way. So that's basically that, and I'm just gonna get it open. 
So let's see what we have in here. So I have the quick start guide. That's the first thing that I can see that comes up. And let me just show you, show you that. And it basically tells you, you know, the batteries right here, the connection icon here, the microphone, the also the power button, and then basically some other information about the devices. So I'm just gonna get these away from me. So just put them down here. All right, and then there we go. So we have the two devices that are that are in there. We have the, so I believe this one right here, if we can get it out. Let me just get this out. There we go. All right. So that is the receiver and the transmitter. So here's the, basically the transmitter and the receiver. And the reason I know that is because the microphone is on this one and then the one that has the screen is the one that is the basically the receiver that we're going to be connecting to our iphone device so this looks really cool i mean I, so far it looks great and looks like something pop out and i believe this is a usb-c cable so it comes with that usb-c cable i also have some some of these noise canceling i think that's what they're called but I know that they improved the audio. You, you know that I'm not an audio expert. And we also have our cable that we're gonna be connecting to, our lightning cable. So that's the one that comes with the wireless go. And then let's see, we have our regulatory and safety manual. So be sure to read that. And also basically to preserve. And we have a little cool case here that comes with it. So this is actually really cool. I like when the devices that I buy come with a case because I, I honestly don't want to scratch it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these away and show you what's inside the box. So let's get these two out and let's see. So it basically walks you through the process of, yep, and let me drop it. It walks you through the process of basically pairing them together. And looks like I also, another cable popped out and this one is another USB-C. So it comes with two actually. So, and that makes sense because we have two devices. So if we wanna charge them, which when you, when you charge these, they're actually, the battery life is about seven hours. That's what the box said. So I'll have to tell you if, if that is true as I use it. So it's basically pop it out and you can see how it looks. This one is the transmitter and you can see that it has the USB-C connection there. I also have the microphone that is built into it right here, which we could totally use. I'm just gonna, you know, I just got the lavalier just to see if we can improve the video quality. All right, and then just basically couple in it. Here's the clip that comes with it. So here's the transmitter. That's the one that I'm gonna be basically wearing. And then here's the receiver. It's a little heavier than this one, and this is probably because I guess it's doing more than the other one. Or, and then, yep, USB-C connection here. We also have a clip here, and then a few different buttons to, for connectivity. So here's the cable that we're gonna be connecting, which is to this one right here. And like I showed you, show you that one before. And then the USB-C and our little camera. So I don't know if this is gonna power it on. I'm just gonna take the, basically the plastic off. And let me just hold the, I'm gonna assume that that's how you power it on. And yep, as soon as I basically hold that for three seconds, and it looks like the, yeah, just basically a little bit of battery. And I can see the wireless indicator saying that it's looking for signal. So, so far the, this looks really cool. And the, so I'm just gonna put that right there. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put it right here so you can see it. And then this one right here, the transmitter, that's the one that we're gonna be wearing. And so the way that this is gonna go is we're gonna be basically wearing it right here. You can do you can do that, you can do, I believe the videos that I saw that we're watching it like this. The way that I'm gonna wear it is I'm gonna be putting that right on my, basically on my, on my pants, and then we're gonna be running the lavalier mic to go with it. So it's going to basically go from this connection right here which is gonna be connecting to the lavalier mic. And then that's what, how we're gonna be transmitting the audio. All right, so that's these two. So far, I mean, this looks really cool. 
So I'll be testing, we'll be testing that in a minute. Let's see if I can. I'll just put it like that. And then, so that's basically what comes in that box. Just put that down. And let's just go ahead and get this one open. So this one is the lavalier, the lavalier audio, the microphone. So let me just get this one open. And all right, so this one also comes with, and I know I seen this one before, it actually looks really cool. Also comes with a with a little case, so you can see that we have a little bag, not a case. And there we go. And I'm just put this down here. And let's see what's inside. So I have my manual, my quick start guide, which let me just show you that. And let's see what else is in the box. There we go. So this is basically the lovelier mic that we're gonna be we're gonna be using. And hopefully you can see how that looks. And I have a little warning sticky that comes with this. So let me just get that out. And I'll just leave it. And then we can get it out when we when we test it. Then I also have also comes with a little clip so that we can let's see if I can get it open. There we go. Basically so that we can attach it and put it in our, I believe it goes like that, and then we can just leave it hanging in there. So that's the clip. So that's that. And then let's see what else is inside. I think that's basically everything. We just have a little, you know, a little Velcro that comes with it, with the brand branded. And let me just get, and then here's our little bag that I just show you. So, so far so good. Let me see what else I have in here. So I show you the lavalier mic. I show you the two different USB-C cables that come with the wireless go, which is really great. I don't have to buy those. And then I'm not gonna show you the lightning because this is basically the cable to connect, you know, from a regular audio jack to an iPhone X because Apple decided to change the connection. So now we need to buy this accessory. So let me just show you that in case you wanna get it. I'm also going to be putting the, all these products in the description of this video, so you're more than welcome to look at them from there, or you can basically just search online and then find them that way. So this one right here is our connection that we're going to go from the, basically from the receiver to basically from this cable to this cable, and then this cable is the one that is going to be connecting to, to the jack on the iPhone. So let's see, let's just get this open as well. And, and as you can you can see, I'm not, I don't do this very often, so I'm probably destroying all the different boxes that we have here. All right, let's go ahead and okay, let me just put this away. And the way the way that this is gonna go, so this is the TRS cable that we get. So let me just get this connected and see and show you how this is gonna go. And there we go. So the way that we, we're gonna do that, so this is the receiver right here, the one with the with the screen. So I believe the way that this is gonna go, and I'm gonna be testing this in just a few minutes, is we're gonna be connecting this cable that goes from the receiver to this other cable, and then the adapter that we got is gonna be the one that is connecting. So you'll notice that as soon as I connect this, we're gonna also, because my iPhone device doesn't have this type of jack, we're gonna need to connect it to this one. So let me let me actually get this open. I told you I wasn't gonna open it, so let's just get it open so I can get it completely connected. All right, and we're gonna just get it out. Let me just get this out out of the way. So the way that it's gonna go, we're gonna have the receiver, then we're gonna have the cable that came with the receiver, and then here's our adapter that we got, and also the adapter that we got for the iPhone. So that's basically how that's gonna go. So the next thing that I'm gonna show you is I wanna run a quality video. I'm gonna show you a video without it and a video with it to see what the quality, how the quality looks like. All right guys, so I wanna show you a demo by talking to you and you can listen to the audio quality. Right now I have the lavalier mic, which is basically right here on my shirt. I also have the attachment, which is going to be the transmitter. So as you can see, I ended up connecting this a little bit different. The connection that I got, which is the TRS to TRS adapter, that's the one that has to be connected to the transmitter. 
and then basically we go from the lavalier connection to that connection. So make sure that you do that because in the beginning I don't think I explained it correctly. The other way, the, the receiver, the one that is actually on my phone, that one has the red cable which is the SC2 cable and then that one also has the iPhone jack connected to it. So let me turn around and make sure that you can, you know, you can still hear me as I'm talking. So normally you can't really hear me when I'm in this direction and the audio doesn't get as good if I wasn't, you know, if I didn't have the wireless go connected. Hopefully you guys still hear me and the quality is still pretty good. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. And if you have any questions about anything that I just mentioned and show you, please let me know. Thank you guys.